requires that we have knowledge of the laws of physics and that the regularity in nature maintains, right? right? If the regularity didn't maintain, we wouldn't be able to explain anything because it wouldn't maintain its identity over time. So okay. if your premise one is a miracle based on your naturalistic view is something that can't be explained definitionally by the laws of physics and the regularity of nature, which is the other way you explain things in, the, in reality, right? I'm saying those things themselves can't be to get uh, get explained by those laws they just they just exist it, right honestly to be honest with you jim bob it sounds like a word game to try and convince people that i somehow accept a miracle when i don't it's I just don't a logical miracle tale in it. this case we're talking about rising from the dead we're talking about things What's that the logical we've consequence written, that we've read in ancient text and here we are playing this game can you define the meaning of mm -hmm. truth by the word truth and stuff like that and i'm going like no. uh I don't I understand I don't, I don't see I a miracle in any of that though. I don't understand I that. Truth and stuff like that. And Hello, Jay. Uh, you got an no echo, Dyer. There he goes. Um all right. to, that's, it all. that's all that's all I really want to run with you. Derek, I know you have to eat, but this is one guest uh you, who wanted to come on and ask a couple questions. Jay. Me? Oh yeah, am I the guest? Yeah, you're you're the guest now. Well, it seems like the argument rests on an assumption of the things that like that you already know what things are and are not possible. And I mean, maybe it's right that the, you know, the criterion that you've chosen, I think you appeal to things like scientists and stuff like that. But how do you know that you've chosen the right criteria for what is and isn't possible? Like what what's the basis for that choice? You're talking to me? Yeah, I would just go with based on my observations and experiences and those of countless other critical scholars who evaluate this literature and recognizing that we're dealing with legendary materials, just like Suetonius discusses the birth of Augustus through Apollo, um, several divine births in antiquity, but you have the miracle of Jesus' birth, and they look literarily very similar. I mean, very, very close linguistically. In, flat, in fact, Plutarch talks about the birth of Plato by a virgin. Plato's mother being a virgin by the pneuma and the dynamos, the power and the spirit. Plutarch's writing somewhat contemporaneous to the gospel literature, we're dealing with legend. And so this is what I would say when I observe that material and I see legendary genre, like a category today, we would fit Batman or Superman or something in today's fiction. They would do something in antiquity similar to that. So when I look at that in a heuristic way, comparing the literature to other literature, I would across the board say they're all acting and looking walking like a duck talking like a duck and they're a duck that's why well, i would say well, that definition the though the evolutionary account of the origin of human beings would also be mythological right i don't i i think we evolved but you would disagree with me no but i'm saying by your standard that would also be mythology no what would the evolutionary account of human beings and their arising from the sea i mean anaximander says that and he gives a kind of a quasi mythological account. So is that, does that count as mythology that we throw out or is that the a solid theory? As far as Anaximander? The evolutionary account that I just outlined, your criteria would cancel out his origins of human beings as Ooh. mythology. Yeah. I would say that creation myths all across the board in antiquity are well, trying to explain etiologically. So now, in other words, evolutionary origins fit your standard of mythology that should be tossed out. What about why the would, big bang? Why would they fit that? Where's the, where's the ancient textbook describing fossil records and going into the science of these things? The criteria. Right? Well then, then, well, then you would say there's also data, there's also archaeology, there's also right. There's several facets that things that, ma that map. Well, I asked for the here. criteria though about what cancels out myth versus fact. Well, that's why I said observable. I would look at the observations of what. Well, wait a minute, but how do you? Did you observe any of that? No, and I didn't see Suetonius get talk about Augustus's oh, so, birth. He so might be, he it. might be the chosen one, and Jesus is a false prophet. We don't well, know they're, that. They're, they're, so trying, wait, yeah, they're trying to get Derek to say that he's appealing to authority, and the answer is obviously yes, he is. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, I, I'm going to appeal. I didn't to, ask about an appeal to authority. I'm talking about you. now. The criteria is observation, empirical observation. Well, right? I'm saying you can look at these texts and compare this material and see what. There's several scholars out there that work in this to show we're dealing with literature. 
We're dealing with literature. Now, People I understand are your argument. Literature. I'm, an argument. I'm asking an epistemological question, though. This is this, which is not answered by just saying that we look at the literature and the scholars. Okay. Well, what do you want to know? So the criteria that you set up, your epistemic criteria was on what basis? I'm asking on what basis? And you said it's the things that don't appear to be mythological based on various scholars. And then I mm -hmm. said, well, by that standard, certain things that you do believe would also be mythology, like the Big Bang would count would count as that. I'm assuming you believe that. I don't know if you. I do, think but... there's it's an outdated model now, but. Okay, well, I mean, whatever I origin myth you want doesn't match up to the standard of empirical verification. Okay. So you have an arbitrary standard, if you need me to spell it out for you. Okay, and you don't? So what's the justification for but your you? But you don't? I'm asking you, do you? No, I think if I believe in theism and I believe in divine revelation, I have a basis mm -hmm. for ep epistemology and those kinds of standards. So I'm just trying to figure out what yours is. Right. Your argument rests on, on the physical. Problems. It would be based on physical, observable, testable, and even observational things like literature. But you already yeah. said that all of these origin theories that you believe go outside of your empirical evidence. What do you, what what do I believe that? Did you I'm observe not? the origins of the human? Of, oh of, no no no! That's where authority comes in, like Neil brought up. That I would rely on scholars and expert scientists. How do you know you've chosen the right scholars? How do you know? Yeah, you got to do research yourself and investigate it yourself. That's the thing. Like you could not so accept the criteria it, and is therefore yourself. we didn't evolve, and therefore there right, was the criteria. Is also, you, you understand what chose, an epistemic but criteria Jay, is. But Jay, when you chose the church to be your guiding more your guiding uh truth you had to at some point decide that for yourself and you had you had to make that judgment you're the confused, same way you category know. mistake you're confusing an existential choice with the criteria two different questions well that's what you you, you that's what you just said to him you said he had to uh, how does he know that these scientists are right he really doesn't he has to kind of appeal to authority yeah. the same well, way I, you but I can make an argument i'm not just appealing to an authority well, we can all make arguments depending on what we're exactly we're talking about. You, at some point, why right, do you? So I want to know the good argument these... to believe your epistemic criteria. But what you're you're saying you don't appeal to authority yet. What I divine never said that. I'm, I just asked what the what reasons we should believe your epistemic criteria. I haven't even heard what the criteria is, other than what I chose and what I chose from certain scholars. Mm -hmm. What? How do you know where to cut off the true and the false scholars? That's a good question. That's why I investigate. Well, yeah, why exactly. I, I might want to know that if I'm going to. But, but instead of swallowing the pill up front, believing in a book that several scholars have shown to be very, very, I say there's a lot of contention, problems, contradictions, again scholar, errors, which, issues, so very man made looking argument. and evolved over time. Same circular and, argument that you'd use for the church. Yeah, I would, I would, I would investigate them. Not, I would look the all argument. across the board. But I'll instead of swallowing that pill up front, that's what I would do. Yeah, but I'm pointing out that you are you already have swallowed your own version of an arbitrary miraculous miraculous pill. So I believe in a miracle. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, you I believe mean, in many of them. Hey, you guys convinced me that miracles are real tonight. I'm. I hope the audience is as convinced as as I am. Well, now. Well, I mean, you're not understanding is that I, I, the argument is pointing out to you that you have an arbitrary standard which allows you to choose what evidences you will and won't accept from the I, outset. You so know when what? The, when the, I got an arbitrary standard and you right. guys don't. How right. about that? Correct. Right. And that's how, you believe that's in an ancient way we show world. that Again, is in this kind that of is borrowing thing. from other mythology to build its narratives that is loaded with legend, contradictions, and errors that aren't that aren't yeah, but the case. That argument, I mean, yeah, but that argument that you're making is based on the very right. thing that I asked you to justify. So you keep restating your position without right. justifying. I'm not going to do the research right for you, brother. I'm not going to do all the, I've done all the day. Actually I have just watched myth vision for like 10 years and you'll <laughs> see it all. It's all there, but I'm not going to sit here and go in circles with this. Like I have truth and I have logic and you don't. And I have the actual epistemic well, so, proper position. So in other words, you don't want to address the actual philosophical challenges to your system. I'm not a philosopher. I'm really not. I, I, I mean, tell. play around with philosophy from I know time you're to time, not. but I'm not a philosopher. And I, I understand know. that you do tell. that kind of stuff. So, but if you're going to make arguments, you're in the domain of philosophy and philosophy. And that's why like I have scholars on my channel. Right. 
That's why I'm not the uh, expert. You're not going to make the argument now for the audience. You just want people to go to your channel. And Derek's the fans, never really asked, Derek never really asked the good into the deep philosophical matter behind why he thinks what he thinks. He never really asked that. It just kind of got through upon him. Well, we sh- so there's not good reasons to. I mean, I like having these type of discussions, but I mean, Derek Derek Derek's is not the type of he. It seems like you guys are just throwing it on him. Well, no, to, well, yeah, well, it's, well, it's, no, it's a gotcha it, bullshit. It, no, no, Honestly, is it fair? Is it fair? Hold on, gotcha. is it fair? Is it fair to say if you have think you have good arguments? against Christianity or any other religion mm-hmm. that that would necessarily be tied to some epistemic foundation that could be questioned. Is it valid to question Absolutely. the foundation? Okay. That's and, all that's happening. Okay. But, but you don't what, want me to do that. Right what now. I'm saying is, is it feels like a gotcha thing. And I've watched plenty of online back and forths between Christians and those like myself. And I honestly have a serious distaste for the presupp kind of approach of you don't have knowledge well, you maybe is it because you don't, you don't have, have an epistemic foundation like but we do we have it even though we're looking at an ancient book loaded with legend well, and i don't get wrong? it okay, so where's precept wrong because you have a problem but with that's that. my point it, it, you're starting with the conclusion that you have the answer that you're the right one that you have the epistemic truth yeah, that you're on the right side so prove that your position's correct to me prove right, that your position's correct to me well, it would help to understand the form of that argument, right? Well, so, sh- just prove to me that you have this, the correct standard, the, the correct epistemic foundation. Show me how you know that yours is true. Because of the impossibility of the contrary, because the other worldviews, they mess up at a fundamental level when it comes to the basics of a worldview, epistemology, metaphysics. How do you know that? that? How do you know that they've messed up? Because you can demonstrate it. Like, as I'm arguing with you, when you don't give an account for your arbitrary starting point, we already know that. So give me your work. starting point. I've asked you for that evidence. Not right. I, I'm, a, I'm a holist, an epistemic holist, which means that I believe in an entire paradigm. There's no starting point that's neutral or arbitrary. It's the entire Christian worldview compared to the Gnostic worldview, the atheist worldview, the humanist worldview. Those worldviews can't give an account for the basic principles in metaphysics and epistemology and ethics our world, you can give an account for how those things exist. And so therefore ours is the true yeah, one. So the we would disagree order. right there. I mean, obviously all of that, all of these worldviews give you those exact epistemic solutions to the problems of the but world, they morality, don't. foundation, they, creation. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. For example, yes, they do. Mesopotamians creation mythology is literally being lifted. I, you don't, have, you, you don't even understand what this argument is arguing. I'm not saying, do they have a story? I'm talking about epistemic justification in a philosophical sense. It's a very specific claim. Of very and Genesis specific one argument. is has a philosophical statement in it about God. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter to them because they don't even know what we're talking about. It's not just does it have a claim. It's a very specific type of argument in terms of logic. This is about logical justification. Oh God, this sounds way. like Darth Dawkins shit, man. I'm not even kidding you. This sounds I, literally. It doesn't like matter who it part. sounds like. I mean, do you have? Are he you does respond to the this argument? stuff, though, Jay. This is this is the, it's the same old thing, man. So you don't have an answer to it. No, so I you, damn sure don't. Because I'm not getting it. lost I, in the yeah, soup. Well, what what Derek's saying. What Derek's saying is this is still so hold on. So well, an actual Derek's saying. What Derek's saying. Argument, which is a valid form. You're calling in, man. You win, Jay. What Derek's saying is this is philosophical boxing. Derek doesn't do the training. You guys do. He, he doesn't really care. He's not. He's not interested in. And in, in, okay, then, if he's not interested in the domain of logic, then he shouldn't try to debate these topics. He wasn't trying to debate. You are the one coming in here debating. Debate. I thought it was a debate. I just no, thought no, it was a debate. Was They're talking. We're that's talking. Why, that's like, why. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. To be fair. It turned into a debate. Let's not kill it. It kind of did, but you know, what you <laughs> let's not let's not get That's ourselves we, we turned into a debate. We permitted we we permitted the debate aspect of this conversation for sure. It's just not formal and it's not guided or anything. But um, he, Jay is uh, it's totally valid, and I would take the same approach to uh, as soon as someone's making a claim about their view or what's possible, what's not possible yeah. regarding any religion, any faith, any legend, any myth. You do, it's not like you saying, oh, you're presupping me. You're presupping also. Everybody's yeah. presupping. So if everybody's I'm presupping, presupping that they're all man made, yes, okay. I agree. I'm presupping that they all aren't. Name is man made. <laughs> if they're all, if they're all okay. man made, then what you just said is also man made, and then exactly it is. Out. Jay, amen to that. Hallelujah. Then so there's no all, truth. Then it's a contradiction. Right. So there's no truth. So well, you, you would be a relativist. Are we, are we, are we Pontius Pilate asking Jesus what truth is? Are we saying, I'm thinking what the most factual thing is based on observations? And if all worldviews are (laughs) man-made, is that also man-made? 
I agree. That would be a contradiction. I think are they're the, all, are, I think are, humans, are the humans have constructed these worldviews since the beginning of time. Dude, before so your you're Bible making a universal written, claim that's relativistic. Humans have you constructed. So, you so he doesn't even care. He doesn't care. <laughs> Do you see that that's a contradiction? You don't. You think it's okay to contradict? Because you're con you're doing a construct too, right? So Dude, based on I, your I, hold I on, Derek, you Derek, you Derek, 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 you gotta, you gotta understand note, this. Neil, I knew this was probably where this shit was gonna go before we jumped I, in. I here. didn't think it was gonna do that. And, and it's not planned. Like, you don't want to be questioned on the middle yeah. level. This is this you can question Christianity. Do you even know Derek? Question. God, this is how you introduce yourself. This is So now it's ad hominem. Now it's all your bad person. I'm just saying. Why didn't on here and debate? You jumped in here all fiery. We were all we're just having the chill conversation. Okay, yeah, so I got, I'm a bad person. So this you're is not a bad person. Hey, you just got no, into an Christianity, and, and I was I was convinced of it for a long time, and I was a priest, a and I started to become an ev evidentialist. That's not a good argument. I went are down the whole Calvinist crowd. It isn't religion? an argument. It isn't. I have no interest in engaging you back and forth on epistemic value. Then, we haven't proven not a your world view to begin with. We haven't even established that yours is true to begin with. All you've done is made statements that. Mine can somehow can tell you the origins of the world and can can no, tell you everything. There is. None for of the other world views your can. basic starting point. That's it. Well, you, you said yours can, yours your can answer all of these we questions, don't have a basis to believe it. and none of the others can. All right, right, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, yeah. guys, guys, all of you, hang on, just just a second. Listen, Derek, we made sure. I made sure that it uh, there was always supposed to be a fifth on this panel, by the way, and I'm glad that Dyer did hop on. The thing is, is that you, you haven't been dogpiled and made sure that nobody did dogpile you, but you've been kind of at the forefront, really hitting as hard as you could. And you've gotten Not actually the most, him. hang on, you've actually gotten the most amount of speaking time, which is fair, right? You so guys listen, asked me all the questions. And I think that's, again, I what did I say? It's fair, right? So backing up, let's just kind of back up here between you and Jay, right? Just kind of lay out what your position is and we can back up a little really? bit it won't ha it doesn't have to be so heated just kind of my back position? up a little bit yeah give kind of your your overall position you guys on know my position well i Everybody just on this panel knows i just want to make sure I, we got a good I, restatement I tell you what's you. going to happen so, derek's going to give his position and jay's going to philosophically do come out and say how do you know what you know you don't know what you right. know so how can right. i believe you and that's and then it. i'll ask You're him done. back Prove that your position. Prove yeah, your position. I, I prove gave it. a transcendental say, argument. Mine can answer this, and somehow it does. The other ones can't. That doesn't prove all the transcendental argument. Do you want to address that, or just keep talking past it? Derek, so tell Derek, me why yeah. transcendental arguments are wrong. I, I. What do you. What do you want me to say? Let me. Why let me are ask they it, wrong? Let me ask. I, I gave an actual argument. Tell me why those arguments. What was are the wrong? argument that the yours are true and everyone else argument. is wrong? The transcendental argument. Do what? The, the transcendental argument. Let, let, let me ask I you. Gave let, that let's argument. do it. Let's do it this way. You're Derek, are there any from your view, right? Is there anything? Are there any necessary preconditions for anything you're talking about to be true? Anything. What do you mean? Is there, any, is there anything that's necessary before you come to truth and evaluation of claims, historical claims, logical claims, philosophical claims? History the question is probabilistic. Is, like it's it, uh, they're trying to reconstruct things through literature. That's the best. And then we have archaeology okay. that we're trying to. You don't think probabilities data. relies on things like math? Yeah, they do. Okay. So okay. if your so argument you relies on math, then you need to give an account for math. Right. Oh, my God. Can you? Therefore, Yahweh. I mean, no. you got no, me. Don't, well, I don't give it. No, 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 no I seriously don't get how math. I've heard this argument before from, from those who think that somehow the fact that math exists. So you don't have an account for it. Therefore, you want to deflect. God. Okay. These kind of and stuff. So I've heard that, and I'm like, no. How about just how about just math? How about just math exists, right? We're not. We don't skip to the God part. You don't need to do that. We're asking you from your view. How does your naturalistic view account for something like math or yeah. logic, which you appeal to, mm -hmm. right? That's a that's a fair question. Stop, stop I think pretending that it, like it's I not think fair. It's an observation of humans that we have come up with systems we call mathematics. And they're observable from the universe that we have seen in nature and that we've come up with systems in which we're able to calculate and, and test, observe. And that's so where math, I think, comes out of. It's an actual I don't principle think, in the world. I personally don't think math, the idea of math as a construct, is something that happens before humans come on the scene and start systematizing what, what they're about logic? To make them otherwise. What about Instead logic? What? So you think we could make them otherwise if they're human constructs? I could make two plus two be five if we all agreed. 
No, I'm saying they observe it. Well, you said they're human constructs. Them. They have two pine cones, right? They well, they're not constructs. More. We've came up with the idea that we two came up two because there's we, two we pine came cones. Up. Are you interrupting me the whole time, bro? Like, I can't even fucking talk, dude. You're this not answering. Not even, you do not understand. You're the asking me, and I'm trying to explain to you my position. You're, you're answering every single answer. word. I hear your mouth, and I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Well, hang on, Jay. Let him, let him, let him give his, let him, yeah, let, let him, let him count construct, and then you yeah. said it's objective. Those two he things. Did his, he did say it's a construct. So, okay, well, I want to verify. No, no, I don't know philosophy very well. Derek, we'll make it terminology. We'll make it simple. We'll make math is a derivative of logic, right? So, we're asking you. If you said math and its language is a construct, right? If it's derived from logic, are you saying that logic is a construct of, of the human mind? Is logic? Logic, the laws of, of the thought, human the, mind. The three classical laws. Are they constructs? Dude, I don't even know the three classical laws. Okay, so the oh. law of identity. Did the law of identity, right, is that verified in nature with empiricism? I don't know. Do, I mean, do you agree that it exists? I've never dealt with the philosophy. Okay. Like. Okay, Never that's fine. That. It's you don't have to be defensive. This is like no, I mean, just, but like you guys are asking tons of questions. I don't know the answer to, but you're making it okay. sound like are, like a gotcha, you, and I'm like, does, I don't. Does the law of ad identity exist? I don't know. Okay, okay. And I'm saying so that if you're going to make arguments against Christianity, you might want to know. Guys are coming at it from philosophy, right? And I'm saying there's a does, there's a handful of other philosophers that I could pull in from a skeptical point of view. Who would say everything you're saying? That's a fallacy. Doesn't add up. Doesn't I'm not saying really. it is. I'm telling you what I could do. He's just saying I'm not some terms. He's just saying he's not a philosopher. Can, terms. I'm but, saying, but dude, if you, if you engage me textually, you would be stomped on just like you're doing to me right now with precept stuff. Okay. There is no comparison when it comes to biblical material on what I've seen from you, Jay, but you can get me on the philosophy stuff. That's all cool. But when we're talking textual, we're talking biblical stuff, we're talking about mythology, legends, and such, and understanding these ancient sources, the evolution of this material and things, Is you're there, out of your Derek, field. Derek, 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 saying, Derek, hold on. Oh, you got me on philosophy. I admit, Derek, I have no clue. Derek, one but, question. Derek, one question. Mean anything Is me. your analysis of all of the texts in the scripture, in, uh, does that require a philosophy? I imagine we all have some okay. form of philosophy. Okay, great. So what Jay's asking, and maybe he's not doing in the language that you prefer or that you're aware of, right? So you're, you're getting like kind of like heated about it. All he's well, asking is... It's, okay. it's competitive, guys. You're, you're okay, just... it's... I'm com Yeah, we're competing for worldviews right now. So if you have a worldview that says, I can go back and through history, using a philosophy, we you admit, you have a philosophy that informs how you do empiricism, historicity, looking mm -hmm. back, which which uh, authorities to listen to, which one not to listen to. I'm telling you that your that activity do, is informed by a mm -hmm. philosophy that precedes the activity, right? Right. And so I think the you and me would have a common ground okay. when it comes to observable, normal, everyday things, right? Okay. You and me would share that. You might go beyond me and say, hey, there's metaphysical, there's spiritual, there's sure. miraculous and things like that. We right. would step hand in hand if we were doing some detective case and going to observe a murder or anything else. You and me would be probably on the same page. I imagine you wouldn't go to the palm reader or to the ghost whisperer to find out who killed Sally Sue over here right. in this room. We would both use the same tools, the same observations in the natural world to come to those conclusions. I'm saying I restricted my observations at that and what happens when I see miraculous stuff appear in antiquity? Yes, I cannot prove it did not happen. Just like I say, I cannot prove Asclepius did not heal the blind or raise right. the dead or Heracles or any other god as well. The point I'm getting at is, is what's most likely on my observations based on the tools that I'm using, which you would walk hand in hand with me on most cases, is that I'm looking at this other material and saying, Asclepius, legend, myth, Isis, legend myth mesopotamian legend and myth and i see the same characteristics happen with the caesars historical people that are being legendized fictionalized okay. i understand the same thing with okay Jews that's a lot books. that's enough that's enough now yeah, what but... jay is saying is that your everything you just said mm -hmm. by your own standard is a myth are you do you agree yeah. with that i mean that's an argument if a myth is a story or a narrative or about right. the, about something right mm -hmm. and that's what so, you told a story mm -hmm. so so based on your view okay. the thing the claim X, Y, Z is a myth based on your own standards of the absence of empiricism, absence of observation, mm -hmm. is that your account of of the myths is, meets the criteria of myth, correct? I guess. I mean, okay. you, guys are, you guys are defining myth in a strange no, you way. Defined it. No, we're you defining it by your it. criteria. Okay. Uh, I 
I guess if that's what you guys want it to mean, I mean, I, I define no, myth as a story, in, something in antiquity that is fictional, that is telling a fictional story, has no basis in actually what happened. That's what I would say is myth. It's a legend. It's a story to embellish. And or enhance. your own position fits under that. Oh, that's your observation of my position. That's right. the argument you just and made. I would say your you didn't actually ask Eric, no. you didn't actually ask Eric what he thought about evolution. You just brought up evolution. No, I don't. We don't even have to talk about that. The very thing that he just said that all worldviews are constructs applies to his mm -hmm. worldview. Yep. And so that, that means that in thirty about his argument. That all, means in a thousand years. Right? That means in a thousand years, our Derek Myth Vision, right? The channel will be appropriately named. In a thousand years, people look back and they'll go, oh, this guy's account of history, right? You know and there'll be all happen, this. Though? I'm a prophet. I'm going to tell you what's really going to happen. You're going to be shocked. By the end of this year, I'll have half a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a serious online movement of people moving toward and gearing toward what I'm actually showing on this channel. Less and less people, I imagine, are going to go toward that more fundamentalist pr approach and saying that this is the one true religion. They're going to find ways to somehow rationalize, maybe even blend their beliefs to some seculars we talked about earlier andrew um mm -hmm. but myth vision is going to make a serious dent it's already been doing so and i'm predicting half a million subs by the end of this year of people who you can't ask their their foundational epistemic yeah, just uh, don't ask system, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if you want those people, but I'm I'm happy you're making a living, Derek. I actually don't, you know, I hope I hope I wish you the best. And you're actually welcome anytime. I know we kept you a Thank little you. longer this time. Um, but I do plan mm -hmm. on doing these panels. Um I'm okay with them being contentious. I'm okay with them going three hours. We're hitting four now. Uh, I apologize. Not okay with to... Neil not participating at all, though. Neil, I you know, tried you to the conversation. I tried Neil, to jump in when I could. I tried. <laughs> and to be me. fair, Jay didn't actually know the context he was going into. He, right, right. he just got thrown in. So you That's know, why he, I was he, trying to he, try to try to pull the brakes on him. Like, hey, chill. It's not that big of a deal. I wasn't it's, it's to, fine. No, Jay, no, I wasn't no, saying no, you're bad. Jay, Jay was watched fine. a little before and saw us getting hype. Was like, you're not having all the fun without me. It's still That's permissible though. Right. Um, and uh, <laughs> I think it, I think it does matter. I mean, so, I actually... so you can't even blame him, right? No, I, I mean, I, I, it was more I, fun I, than a human being should be allowed to have. Let's true, face it. True, true, true. Yeah. Um, and and when you have your hair all bound back like that, you know what I mean? Like Dyer does. Event, you know, a couple screws loose. Plato, Plato, he's close. You're close, Jay. I see Plato behind him too. <laughs> um, well, no, I think all those questions are actually valid. Yes, they're different ways of a asking questions. They're, I think there are actually more important questions, what Jay's asking, but we're not used to those questions. We go into historicity, we just grant ourselves some access to the past, and we try to shuffle around what we think is true and not. I think it's totally fair, and under another circumstance, Derek, I actually invite you to, to actually in, try to engage with it, because every time this happens, our experience, right, the pre-sup clan of, of you guys is you just say, oh, you're pre-supping me. I mean, that's not, you got well, to understand I, from both views that, that, that yeah, from our no, view. I agree. It's not okay. an answer, and that is okay. a cop-out for me as someone okay. who doesn't engage with pre-sup stuff that's on fine. that basis because I don't think there's any way to ever convince a, someone who's in that, who's actually persuaded well, by well, their Derek, Can I ask you for a, a favor? When we have one of these panels again, would you mind – because I understand if you don't have like a, a good philosophical background of this or that, you know what I mean? I do use a lot of intuitive argumentation myself, but these guys, these scholars that you do know, mm -hmm. would you be willing to bring them on with you? And then we can continue with this and we can have a guy like Dyer on here. We can all have this discussion. They're so what I would like to do when it comes to philosophy, I don't know, Dyer, have you ever engaged with, is he, is you'd rather Dyer engage specifically? Well, no, all of us can too. engage. Well, I'm it's saying fine, I'm, you know? I'm trying to have like a, a literally about. not get distracted by any possible other stuff. And it, Dyer can engage and discuss his worldview. And then I'll have another guest come on, maybe like sure. Stephen Woodford or um, I can get Graham Moppy. Maybe if you can get interested. Stephen Woodford, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> I am buds with Stephen. And the and yeah. reason I brought up that I have friends that I could call in. You don't have friends. Stop lying. You have associates. I paid what them very good money have, to be my friend. You have corporate <laughs> associates. <laughs> I looked it up, Derek Myth Vision LLC. Yeah, know. LLC. So. He's got the whole corporate board. You're just going to grab people from your corporate board to, to, to go against uh, Dyer? Or grab what? people from my No, no, no I'd Derek. love it. I would love it if you had some people, whether on my, my channel, Jim Bob's or Jay Dyer's, if you guys would like to come back, you, you know, have one of these guys come on. Let's tangle it up. I'm a always bit down. More. I'm always down. Yeah. Yeah. I will. I will see what I can do with Stephen. 
because he is in the philosophy vein. I'm not. I'm more into the textual history stuff like that. And so um, maybe we could do a round table and see if he'd be down for that. If not, then maybe having a one on one discussion or something. I don't know. Sure. We'll figure it out. We'll figure we it out. We do it all. We do it all. But listen, thanks for coming on, man. It was a lot of fun. And I hope you had a lot of fun. And I had fun. Got a little, you know. the, the, don't be mad at us because Jay Dyer is so fucking mean. It's not it, our fault. It He's is Jay's always fault. been a mean <laughs> bastard. There's nothing we could do it's about Jay's it. Fault. Yeah. <laughs> okay he's always been no, that way no, the way that he, neil describes this andrew is this when i met him hot-headed as fuck okay let's just keep it real neil's ex- yeah you you, you can go up. off the deep end quick when you oh. get mad okay you know that but then i'm like why and he's like dude where we're from in new york we argue over the football teams where you know <laughs> hey man no 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 that's like so Did i really say that i don't remember saying that it's you've you've said that to me you've told me like you're very you know hype about it well tonight got a little fun little hype that's, you know we, yeah 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 no yeah, we weren't we weren't planning on going philosophy we thought we we uh you know skim the surface at least but but, but when jay saw but, that you were wearing a salmon colored shirt yeah. which is the weakest yeah. color a man can wear right. he decided to put on his salmon colored yep. hawaiian shirt actually, and he wanted to not, show you what's up it, bro. it looks salmon in the red light but it's actually <laughs> yellow so but he um, no, no, jay right. stop coping that's salmon okay that's salmon. it's actually yellow I promise. <laughs> um uh any la- neil why don't you shout out your channel and your last words um for the for the show here and then we'll oh, go around uh derek jay sure. andrew and then finally myself neil my name is neil from gnostic informant just look me up on youtube it comes right up uh i started a second channel i do shorter content too uh gnostic informant uh tv i think it's called whatever they're both up there and uh i'm looking forward to more of these because i i'm trying to gain get more of an understanding of where you guys are coming from and i'm i think sure. it's helped me out so you can know, you wear a less stupid hat next time? Though, I got just... you. I got you. All right. All right fair <laughs> enough. Derek. Um, yeah. Thanks for having me on, guys. This was different. I haven't done one of these in a long time since I've had conversations like this. Um, yeah. And my channel is, if you're interested in like history, mythology, just so you know, um, many Christians watch it and appreciate it. Even if they disagree with my conclusions, they appreciate it. So uh, there's that. Appreciate it. Awesome. Jay. Uh, yeah, Jay Dyer, Jay's analysis. Um, I host the fourth hour of Alex Jones every Friday and, uh, we do movie reviews, debates, philosophy, geopolitics, literature, all that on my channel. Awesome. And do you guys have Derek? I know Jay, uh, do you have Twitter spaces? That seems to be a more of a new fun forum thing <laughs> where people can actually attack do, yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, you can attack Jay on his Twitter space. Yeah, I open it up all the time to debate. Yeah, nice. I Derek, do. Do you do that? I'm not. Okay. I like use it just to share YouTube videos on. I don't sure. really get on to engage because, damn, it's toxic. Jay, not to put you on the spot, but <laughs> I, I jumped on there. I jumped on there one time, and there was a delay or something where we couldn't hear each other talk, and you kicked me off and blocked me. But I'd appreciate it. I didn't mean any ill will towards you when I was on there last time. So if you want to unblock me, that'd be cool. I'll ju- I'll jump on there next time. Okay. That was a documented event, Andrew. <laughs> well, okay, Neil. To be fair, I blocked you on Twitter too, but <laughs> but let me tell you why. Hang on, hang on. I Recently? got a good reason for this. Got a good reason for this. It's because I'm way smarter than you. That's the only reason I did it. Neil. Fair enough. I say I only. Re- no, I'm kidding. You're not blocked on Twitter, bro. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. My name is Andrew Wilson, host of the one and only. Crucible, fastest growing debate channel on the internet. You'll be able to catch more content. I'm going live with Gavin McGinnis in early February for a two show combo right after I'm heading back to whatever uh, for three shows. So it's going to be a kind of long haul in February. Hope to see all of you there. And I, Jim Bob, I really appreciate you putting this panel together. Derek, it mm-hmm. was great to meet you. Um, I basically um, I blame you for the derailment of the entire panel. It's 100 percent your fault. I was just I, I just wanted to have a couple of beers, man. You see, you see, I had them. You screwed the whole I thing. I thought I'd be the one getting dog piled. And somehow I didn't get to know. <laughs> anyway, thank we you so to, much. I did, appreciate it, man. Jay is the scapegoat. It's all his fault. Every bit yeah. that happened before and when he showed up. Sorry, Jay. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like I feel like he could take it. I feel like he could take that. Jay Dyer is known internet wide as being the meanest man on the internet. I've been competing mm-hmm. with him for the last year, and I'm still losing. Not even I'm close. Upset not, about even, that. not even close. 
I mean, he goes he goes right for the jugular every time. You're you, Andrew. You're like, hey, how's it going? Where do you live? Oh, you, you like shit beer too? Uh, Jay's like, look, hey, I'm not trying to be mean, but here's my cleaver. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do appreciate you guys coming on. I do want to do this more. Um, a lot of it, a lot of our interactions are actually debate driven, which I'm fine with. I love debating. I love to learn about it and do more of it. But the panel thing is is kind of more fun in a sense. And you can hang out and uh, cover other things because because we did cover a lot of interesting things at the at the front of this. Right. That wasn't super contentious. Right. Interesting topics and technology and whatnot. So. Um, I'm going to do this again. Also, guys, you're only going to be able to find this. You're not going to be able to find this on the Crucible. You'll only be able to find it on Jim Bob's stream. I strongly suggest you become a member because great content like this. Well, he only puts it out for a couple of days before it becomes member only. So true. Thank you. So strongly much suggest that. it. And of course, uh, any of you who want to clip anything for any of your channels, you're more than welcome to just and let I'll me the, know. Or yeah, don't and I'll read know. the super clip chats. It. I don't care. Yeah, guys, I'll stay. Uh, once they're off, I'll read the, go through and make sure I got all the super chats, okay? All right, you guys, uh, thanks so much to every single one of you. I uh, hope to do this again soon. Also, Derek and Neil, if there's anyone else, like you said, that might be interested in this format, no, it's not going to always be like this contentious, but it could be, and I think right. we could all handle it, so so it'll be fun anyway. So. Sure, absolutely. All right, all right. and uh, sorry for keeping you in. I, I'm glad you got some uh, food there, so... <laughs> Little something. All right. All right. Yeah. A little something. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna take you down. Take you guys all down. Um, adios. Thanks, Jay, for jumping on. Uh, see you.